to point fingers. We do not have the luxury to apportion blame. We must close ranks and work together for a functioning, democratic, prosperous Kenya. I want to thank the members of my team, starting with my wife and family. and many other prayer warriors in Kenya. And I want to confess that I have been prayed into victory. It is not our effort. And my team knows we were working against the odds many odds at that but I must confess that it is God who brought us this victory I do not want to mention the many people many friends who have been part and parcel of this journey many people have paid huge sacrifices for us to get here. I want to promise them that their sacrifice will not be in vain. I will, I and my team, my team and I will work very hard to make sure that we don't let the sacrifices made by many Kenyans, we don't let them down. I am very confident that this country will come together and we can move forward as one united, democratic, and prosperous country. I want to ask our religious leaders from across Kenya to pray for us and to pray for the unity and prosperity of our country. Um, I will not want to say more than that because I will be making other statements in the course of time. But let me say to all of you, thank you very much for being here this evening to witness this very historic, democratic occasion that moves our country to the next level. And let me thank my very able deputy, Rigadi Gashabwa, for the sacrifice and the commitment he has demonstrated and the hard work he has put in, together with all our teams, Musalia Mudavadi, um, Moses Otangula, J.B. Muturi, uh, Mr. Mutua, uh, Amazon Kingi, and all, let me not go down that route because I, I will disappoint some people because that list is very long, especially the men and women, members of parliament who were elected with us in Jubilee and they have paid a heavy price for us to get here. Ladies and gentlemen, Waishimiwa, let me say I owe you. You are great people. The sacrifices you made, withstanding the many incidences of blackmail and threats, I want to tell you, you have earned your place in the history of Kenya. Because today, we're going to 
form a government together to serve the people of Kenya. So with those many remarks, let me say to all the people of Kenya, I give you my word that I will work hard to make sure that this nation moves to the next level, is united and is prosperous. Asante Nisana.